big eyes. This is it. The grand finale. Has it been worth the wait? Has it been worth the anticipation? Has it been worth the hunger? Let's find out. So what's in the box? By now you will know that the more packages are in there, the more excited I get. And I know you're just as excited to find out what's in here. One thing though that I'll tell you in advance is that we are not going to boil any water. So if you viewers at home are following along, then all you need is a carafe of cold water. Safe to drink, safe to eat. Before we start preparing, let's have a look at what's inside exactly. I think by now it would have been faster at this. I definitely need these because I'm very happy to share with you that the whole description is, everything is in Chinese. So I need this Dutch translation that's here. It also contains English and French. So all your, all your French speakers, bienvenue. That's all the French that I really know. It's so nice to peel. If we can peel this off cleanly. Excellent. We can keep this here for decorative purposes. Like I said, this doesn't do me any good. A white tray. The orange tray. Chopsticks. Oil. I think these are the noodles. First time we have flat noodles. And something which we cannot eat. This is a heating pack. So if you don't want to eat the noodles, but you want to be warm in winter when you go outside, keep this chuck the rest away. The white tray contains seasoning, oil, fat, or something like that. These are vegetables. What are we going to do? Let's have a close-up. We are gonna speed run the unboxing of this hot pot. You've already seen the ingredients. If fine motorics aren't your thing, ask your Lego addicted nephew to construct the chopsticks for you. Basically take everything out of the trays except for the green bag that shows warnings against using elevators and sniffing hot paint. As per usual, give everything a solid squeeze, bend or wobble before putting it into the white tray. Noodles first, then the veggies, roots and mushrooms. Shower them with chili, drown them in stock and drench them in oil. Presumably all this makes the hot pot very thirsty, so pour it some water and have some yourself. Water equals health. Water equals second degree burns if you pour hot water on this white pouch and then keep your hand in the water. So don't. Science will make the water boil and steam will heat our hot pot. I soon realized I had not poured enough water to heat it all properly, but couldn't fix this problem because the tray had become too hot to the touch. Sadly enough, the visuals of this mayhem were not recorded, so I'll keep the audio recordings of my unearthly screams for my upcoming horror film, Noodles Unhinged. I don't know what went wrong that made it into the final cut, but now I'm even more excited to try this hot pot. And already it smells so delicious, it smells so strong, it smells very spicy, and I'm really curious how this is all going to taste. We have some interesting ingredients in here, this thing with the holes, is a lotus root, slices of potato, and my goodness, <coughs> this is spicy. Now if all you have nearby is water, like me, then uh, feel free to use that. Of course it's much better to use uh, milk or yogurt. This is probably the Judas ear that's in the ingredient. And then finally we have the noodles, from which you can see they aren't properly cooked yet. I didn't heat up the whole soup enough. So what I'll do is I'll heat up the rest so that the noodles tenderize a bit more and then we'll talk about the ratings. Well, that was interesting. First thought, extremely spicy, but you noticed that already. Hmm? Second thought, okay. Well, with this rich Sichuan hot pot, we really revisit horribly mispronounced Chongjing classic guy with a stronger flavor and more veggies and a lot more spice but I'm unsure what to do with the leftover stock. I don't want to throw it away, but then it has such a thick layer of oil that I don't want to consume or drink it either. 
the box and its brewing instructions were reminiscent of the IKEA-like instructions from episode 7. Though impressive as they were, they left my noodles slightly undercooked and some of the ingredients undercooked as well. As for the rating, I'm counting on my voiceover to get the name of this hot pot right. So, you may instant hot pot gets a three chopstick rating. I secretly wish that I could give five, but sadly, I don't make the rules. And that's a wrap for Noodles Unboxed Seasoning 1. Maybe you have any suggestions for Seasoning 2? Then please leave those in the comment section below. And maybe after all this time you still don't like noodles, but you still like this video, then please click like and subscribe so that we'll see each other again when we unbox some more noodles. I'll start working on seasoning too as soon as I get hungry. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm going to start right now. Noodles, let's go! Ooh. Anything for the fans. <laughs>